Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Today we'll look at our corn and we'll talk about what I think is going on. Now, if you remember, when we planted this corn, we decided to do a cross between the yellow Guatemalan and the white trucker's favorite. So we planted the first two rows with Guatemalan and then we staggered two rows of trucker's favorite, two rows of Guatemalan, two rows of trucker's favorite. And so it's up and it's doing good. Praise the Lord, we have had unbelievably perfect amounts of sunshine and rain. It has been absolutely wonderful. And so the last time you saw this was when we were cultivating it with our horse, Katie Bell, and she did a really good job. And we still got weeds coming up. We may get her back out here and try to hit it again. But anyway, I've got an issue. It looks like that the Guatemalan corn is not going to tassel at the same time as the truckers favored. And Eric Hale brought that to my attention. He planted some there in Indiana. And I started looking for myself. Sure enough, my truckers favorite is tasseling and my Guatemalan is not. And the reason why I didn't know the days was because this is hand-me-down corn. This is corn that's been handed down and it came from Guatemala, given to a friend of mine. He grew it. I got some of what he grew here in Tennessee and nobody knows exactly the day. This year, what I'm gonna have to do, this may not cross-pollinate. What I might have to do is keep very good track of the days and next year, if I decide I still wanna cross this corn, I will plant the Guatemalan corn in advance that many days, however many days it is, to make up the difference. So this experiment is becoming more experimental all the time, and we may have to do it next year. But it's going to be interesting to see. I really like the look of it. It's really good-looking corn. So what I really like about the Guatemalan corn is the thickness of the stalk, the sturdiness, the nice big ear. Trucker's Favorite also has pretty good, but if I could cross the two, I could get better of both worlds. And so that's what we're going for. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and grow this crop out and see, see what happens. Whatever happens, I can assure you, you will not be left out. You're going to see exactly what happens. It's not going to be that long. We're going to enter into the fall season. This stuff's going to dry. This corn is not intended for fresh eating, although we will do some. But it's mostly feed for the pigs and also cornmeal for our own cornbread. It won't be long. It will be time to pick. So we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.